16, I was a healthcare worker. Worked spinal care, rehab. Um, 24, fell asleep driving, five minutes from home. Uh, August 30th, so it would be my anniversary. It would be today, actually, so it's 21 years ago today. Um, had some good family support. Told I was gonna be in the hospital 14 months. Uh, got out in three. I was a golfer as a kid. Uh, wanted to get back into golf and had the option through Larders. Uh, through, they had an older cart and we tried it a couple of times and got into it. I get to be out with my friends. You know, it's like the old days where, you know, even before my accident, I was a golfer. So nowadays, I get to golf, I get to go out. I didn't care what I shot. It was just about being out, getting out. And then progression gets long and you're kind of competing with your buddies and they're giving you 14 strokes to start the round and next thing you know they're giving you 10 and 5 and now you're playing heads up and you're beating them and you have a championship belt that we pass around all the time and we're playing 50, 60 rounds of golf a year. The most difficult part of the golf that I've had with struggles is just people not getting awareness and just not knowing the knowledge of the golf cart. Uh, friends and I, we call it, we've got it over the years, we call it the Care Bear Stairs because everybody stares at you. Um, just like I said, because they lack the knowledge. They don't know the info, it's the only golf cart in Manitoba that swings you out and stands you up. Um, but it's nice to be able to get awareness out there now. I actually feel better golfing for my cart than I did walking in the old days. I shoot better. I shoot straight, I don't go in the bush, I'm never in trouble. Well, my hips don't get into it so I can't swing. Slice, right? So it's fun. I just, just the competitiveness now, especially that I'm right up there with my buddies. And there's no 14 strokes anymore. Yeah, best part of the game would probably be my short game. Putting is really difficult because I drive straight on the green, straight off the green, so when I approach my ball, you know, I kind of line it up when I'm off the green, but as soon as I get over it, I kind of got to figure, refigure it out. And I just try and two-putt and go best I can. Make it, I make it. Well, I was born with arthrogryposis, so I like can't weight bear on my legs. Uh, so like, I'm not able to play stand-up golf, but I found that the easiest way for me to get around is when I'm not in my wheelchair is like on my knees. So that's how I found a way to play golf so that I can still use my hips, but I don't get the full like motion as on my legs, but it still works. Yeah, like I play hockey and basketball like during the fall and winter and, t and stuff, but like it's during the summer that I have like no sports. So I was just trying to find some activity that is like that I like and that is fun to do like on the off season and then I like have been like lots of people in my family have been playing golf for their whole lives so I'm like I like to try that and I have and I've been playing golf for years now in the off season so I'm really good like when I play golf and like teeing off and then the closer I get to the green I can get on the green pretty easily but it's just the putting that struggles it's just working on the putting, but I feel like once I get the putting down, I'll be good. Biggest challenge in golf, because I don't have the whole like movement that I, you can have in your legs, it's trying to like keep up with like, you know, when I play with like other people, they're always like shorter, like it takes them less strokes. Cause like I only have my hips and my upper body, but they can use their ankles and their legs to swing. So it's like, trying to like match up with them because I can't because like it's only my hips and my upper body that I use to swing so it's trying to match up with them and trying to get the same amount of strokes. <laughs>